Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on this Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette and I just got this in the mail the other day and I wanted to go ahead and play with it. On my eyes right now I actually did use all 12 colors which is insane. I didn't know that this was even possible but I did use all 12 colors on my eyes and I will let you know my thoughts on this. So far on first impression I really really do enjoy this palette. This palette it is all of the colors that I really love in a palette. These are my go-to, these are my basic colors, and I just love it. I love this whole palette. I definitely love all of these shades in here, especially with the fact that you have your transition shade, and then there's also like a highlight shade, and then it, it kind of goes into more transition, and then it kind of has your mixtures of the glitters in here and then towards the end where you can definitely define your eye look. Especially for this being such like, kind of like an almost a monotone palette, it gives you lots of versatility. There's so much you could do with it. You could do a daytime look, you could do a nighttime look, you can do all sorts of things, or you can even do just something super simple, just one wash of color, all over your lid and blend it out and it looks amazing. I do have to say that between using all of these 12 colors, I can really appreciate how blendable they are, especially the mattes. I'm not such a huge fan of their other Naked palettes, like their Naked 1, 2, 3. I did not buy the 1, which was the original, and then I did not buy the, um, the Naked Heat one because I'm not really into red tones on my eyes. I also wanted to pick up the Smoky palette at one point, but I just never really got around to it. But for some reason, I feel like this one is really, really good. The mattes blend so beautifully and they also go on really well. I'm going to use Privacy as an example and I just stuck Privacy right onto this lower part of my lid and I blended it out. I did use the brush that it came with as well, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. The point, the smaller one, I would say is more of like a smokier for like a smoky look. I did put privacy on the outside corner right here and then I did extend it up and it was kind of messy a little bit. There was really a defined mark from the shadow and all I had to do was take the opposite end of the brush which is like the blending side and then I just blended it out and it blended out wonderfully. It was awesome. I definitely loved how well that had worked out. All of the other mattes just blended beautifully together. Then I went ahead and took all of the metallics and I put them all over my lid. For my lid and the inner corner, also on the lower lash line over here, I did use all of the metallics that were in here and I'm actually surprised that I made it work. But I definitely love, again, I love how they applied. For the middle part of my lid here, I did use my finger to apply the metallic shadow and that one is Bang Bang and that is a beautiful color. I absolutely love it. This is one of the types of colors I do love for like an all over lid shade. As for fallout, you do get some fallout when you're digging into these colors and when you're, you know, using like a blending brush and a blending brush will pick up a lot of the product and kind of move it around a little bit, but it's not that bad, especially when you go to blend it on your eyes. It doesn't have any fallout on the bottom of my cheek. The only thing that kind of had maybe a little bit of fallout was either one of like the two lighter metallics or the shimmers in here, which are Bang Bang and Turn On. Those two did give me just a touch, just a little bit of fallout, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. I just took my brush and just wiped it away and it was fine. I've gotten accustomed to using the eyeshadows mirror in here because it's a nice mirror and it doesn't get in the way of the camera as I'm doing my eye look. So I definitely love this mirror as well. I can also appreciate the packaging on here. It is all plastic, it is magnetized, and it is a really, really nice cover. I, re I really love it. I love this one compared to their second and third one that they came out with, with like the snap enclosure. It wasn't really that great, but I love this one instead. Going in about the brush, this brush has got to be probably one of the more useful brushes that they've put into an eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure what the brushes have been as far as after the Naked 3 because the Naked 3 brush, I didn't even use it. There was no use in it for me. I didn't see a purpose in them having the kind of brush that they had. This one is much better. It's got a blending brush side, which I definitely love, and it works really, really well. The bristles are really soft. And then also the smaller side to kind of make a more definitive smoky eye, I would say. 
is really nice as well. It is really dense and it picks up a lot of product. One thing that I did notice is that the Naked Cherry retails for $49 and the other Naked palettes retail for $54. I did look up all of the different like products and stuff like that just to kind of make sure that what is the discrepancy between these two and why is the Naked Cherry $49? The reason for the discrepancy is from what I can find, the other Naked palettes, the older ones, they all have 0.05 ounces per eyeshadow and then the Naked Cherry one has 0.03 ounces per eyeshadow. That is a big difference between, there's like a point for me, that kind of feels like a big difference, especially when you're paying $49 for the cherry palette versus $54. I can understand inflation and all that. I'm just going to do some math here. I did do a little bit of math, but I don't want to make it too complicated for you guys. So I'm just going to pretty much say like how I see it right here. You are paying $49 for one6 zero six grams of product and for that's that's for the naked cherry palette for the other regular naked palettes it's going to be 1.4 grams and you're paying 54 dollars so you kind of look at it however you want to and see if it's worth it for you i personally in my opinion i'm just really glad that they did not sell this product for the same price as they would i appreciate that they took that into consideration that there was less product and they're not going to sell it as the same as the other ones like say the Natasha Denona palettes the Tropical palette weighed less but they decided to charge the same amount that is one consideration that I can definitely appreciate now for me to say if you're going to use this whole palette are you going to notice that there's less product I don't know it you tell me you tell me if you actually go through this whole palette and tell me if you can go through this whole palette and then go through a whole other naked palette let me know the final question that i have for myself honestly is do i see myself using this palette um i definitely can say that i do see myself using this palette this is where i can tell you guys that i can honestly say that i will use this palette i really love how this blended i loved how well it worked on my eyes and i loved the even though this is more like a monotone color scheme kind of palette i do love that there is some versatility in it as far as it's lighter colors over here and then darker colors over here which i can definitely love and there's 12 different colors there's so many colors to choose especially with the fact that these colors are nice you know cherry mauve colors and i do love mauve colors for my eyes here's something a little bit different that i wanted to try as well in this video is i wanted to take a couple of other palettes and just compare them and let you guys know my thoughts on them the other two palettes that i have here are the Lorac pro this is their fourth one i do believe yes this is their Lorac pro eyeshadow palette the fourth one and then i do have this other one which i'm holding up with the naked palette this one is the Marvelous Mauves from Dose of Colors. I'm going to hold all of these up, or at least try to. Now, you can tell that all of these are very, very similar in color. They're all mauve They're all purpley, mauve rosy kind of tones. The Urban Decay one, looking at it, it does look a little bit more rosy. Cherry. It looks a lot more cherry colored. So I definitely love that. And then the Lorac Pro you see down here is more of like a light burgundy kind of color, light mauve color. And then of course the Dose of Colors palette is definitely mauves all the way. I wanted to show you guys that so that you guys can see that there are other palettes out there that are very similar. You don't have to get this palette in case you already have either of these two palettes right here. You don't have to get the Naked Cherry one. With that being said, if you are a collector like myself, I would say definitely get it. I know there's a lot of makeup coming out and it's so hard to keep up. However, this one I can truly say that I'm not, I don't regret that I bought this. This is a really good palette. I'm thinking about keeping it on my desk here. That way I can actually reach for it because I definitely love the way that this comes off and I love the tones in it. So definitely this is something that I really, really like so far. There's a lot of things that I've seen and come across that I don't really care for or don't really like, but this one for sure the anticipation of this palette was there for sure. I did not get to grab any of the other things that were in the Naked Cherry collection. I am thinking about getting the eyeliner because I love the burgundy eyeliner. And then I'm also thinking about maybe trying the setting spray. I'm gonna see how much that is. I think they said that that one's limited edition and I'm not a huge fan of cherries. 
so I'm kind of nervous about buying it. I think I might just try it in the store whenever they go into the store because I don't really know how that's going to smell. I just don't want it to smell too overpowering, like cherry syrup, you know what I mean? So I don't think that I, I don't know. It's kind of conflicting. I want to try it, but I'm not totally sure. I just don't want to get hit in the face with cherry syrup in the bad way, you know what I mean? I think that is it for all of my thoughts. I'm going to let you guys know anything else that I come up with, but I definitely love, I, I really love this palette. This is actually a really good palette, and I can definitely say that you will not be disappointed if you buy this palette. That is it, you guys, for this first impressions and review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below, and if you're going to get this palette, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next time. Bye!